this is why I like coming to this bookstore because Thank you to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know who Dossier is or what their company is about, they're a luxury quality perfume company without the markup price added on to it. Also a great thing about Dossier is if you have a local Walmart anywhere near you, you can actually go purchase Dossier right now. They were super, super kind enough to send me two of their really, really nice scents. They sent me Fruity Brown Sugar and Fruity Magnolia. I think I'm actually gonna put the Fruity Magnolia one on today because I already smelt it and it smells so heavenly and so good it smells like summertime and it's just the perfect scent for summertime so i'm gonna wear this one today it has such cute packaging and then it also has this cute little card where it tells you all the information about the perfume that you just purchased so for example on the fruity magnolia one it tells me that this perfume is actually inspired by the versace bright crystal perfume which is so so cool all these perfumes are actually inspired by big brand perfume companies go with dossier because it is way way cheaper their formula are also clean, vegan, and cruelty-free, which is amazing to have in a perfume company and also just a brand in general. Seriously, go check them out. I will have all the information down in the description box below. They're always running deals, which is also amazing. So seriously, guys, go check out Dossier. I would not advertise them if I did not love them. So go check them out. Thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video, but let's get on into today's very, very exciting video. Hello, Everybody. It's actually not morning at all anymore. I feel like I always say this in my videos. It is actually 118. I woke up super super late today because I was just so tired and I didn't want to wake my body up if my body was not ready to be up, but I'm up now. <laughs> As you guys can see from the title of today's video, I am gonna be going to Barnes and Noble today. I'm gonna be doing some book shopping. We all know I have a problem when it comes to book shopping, so I need to go like every few months to get my fix, if you know what I mean. I need my like tripod. But yeah, today I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble, get some books. I am filming a book video next week. Um, I'm gonna be reading fantasy books all next week for a video. So I kinda wanted to go to Barnes and Noble to see if they have any new fantasy books that would be worth reading for this little video next week. All right. I'm gonna really quickly make myself some avocado toast with an egg over easy on top. So I'm gonna pack my little tote bag really quickly and then we will head out to Barnes and Noble And I think we might go to one other bookstore too. That's right on Grand River Just because I haven't been in there in a while. They might have new better stuff than Barnes and Noble So we'll see but yeah, I will see you guys Most likely when I'm in the car 
Okay, we are gonna rock the Taylor Swift all the way to Barnes & Noble. Actually, I'm gonna play my Love, Love, Love playlist, which is actually privated right now on my Spotify because I'm working on it. But she's in, it's literally captioned Love, 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 Love. It has so many Taylor Swift songs on it. Run, love. Oh. I love this song so much. All right, Barnes & Noble, here we come. Just made it to Barnes and Noble and it is absolutely pouring. So I'm gonna run in really quickly because I don't wanna get caught in the storm. <laughs> It's currently so busy in Barnes and Noble right now, but I found four books that I don't know if I'm gonna get, but I really, really want them. I should get them. I think I will. I think it's gonna be one of those big Barnes & Noble book haul days. <laughs> I just got out of Barnes & Noble. I sat in there for a little while, got matcha, just sat, talked to my mom. I started reading for a little bit, but then my mom called me, so I talked to her on the phone for a while. But I bought four freaking books. I was not planning on buying four books today, but I did, so that's that. Um, I think I'm gonna really quickly go to that bookstore that's over by my campus really quickly just because I wanna see what they have. I don't think I'm gonna actually buy anything just because I bought so many books today, but I do wanna go check it out just because I haven't been there in a really long time. Yeah, anyways, that's what's going on. I will show you guys the haul when I get home because I am actually so, so freaking excited about the books that I got. I went outside of my comfort zone. One of them was recommended to me and then the other three were not but I've been seeing nothing but good things about them all over the freaking internet so I got them and I'm so so pumped I actually think I might read some of these for next week's vlog the reading fantasy books for a week straight they're playing Lana Del Rey oh, the vibes are perfect <laughs> This is why I like coming to this bookstore because they have all of the old covers of uh, Christina and Becca Ritchie's um, Addicted to Me series. They have all the new ones too, but they have the old ones and there's just something about the nostalgia of the old ones that I really, really love. I also really, really like the cover of this one. <laughs> I did find one book that I do have on my list, All Roads Here. Lead here by Marina Zapta. I think that's how you say her name. They are seriously playing all the bombs in this bookstore. As we made it back to my apartment. So I'm gonna share with you guys the books that I got now. When I went to the second bookstore, I didn't get anything, but I did look around and I did find some books that I want. Okay, so the first book that I purchased, I got The Woven Kingdom by also the author of the Shatter Me series. I got so many requests to get this book for the challenge that I'm gonna do next week. So I got it and I'm hoping I'll really, really like it. This will be the first book that I read by her. I haven't read the Shatter Me series yet just because the series is like eight books long and I'm already in the middle of a bajillion other series so I feel like I should
shouldn't start it yet, but I did get this one and I'm pretty excited about it. It looks so, so good. The next book I got, I got Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I saw Sarah Crowley read this, I'm pretty sure, and she, I think, said it was really, really good. So I decided to get it and see what it's all about. It is also a fantasy book. It sounds like it's gonna be like an enemies to lovers kind of romance deal. And then the next book that I got, I got As Old As Time, um, which is a twisted tale by Liz Broswell. I think that's how you say your name. But this is a Disney retelling of the Beauty and the Beast. And it basically says, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast? And pretty much the whole premise of this is Belle and the Beast are trying to figure out the how to like reverse the curse. But it's a dark Disney retelling. So I'm really excited about this because I love Beauty and the Beast. I'm pretty excited about this. And the last book I got, I got Straight On Till Morning, also by Liz Broswell. This is a Peter Pan retelling, and it says, What if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? So I'm very, very excited about these. I, like I said, went outside of my comfort zone with these books. These are not books that I feel like I would normally get myself, but they were books that were recommended to me. And also these two books, the Disney retelling ones, I heard that the series was good. It was like a whole series for like all the books. And I didn't get like the first few in the series. I just got random ones. I hope I don't have to like read the previous ones. It sounds like I don't. Anyways, that is all for today's video. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys have been to the bookstore recently, let me know down in the comment section below the books that you've bought recently or books that you want to buy in the near future. But other than that, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. Always in my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry.